Hi and welcome back. Bill here. Today's video I'm including a little extra, some more footage of the automatic tool changing and a bit of drilling. So let's get started. So just using a piece of pine but no vice, this time a mini spoil board, blue tape, super glue, but I added a couple of screws in the ends just for extra security. So let's get started. It thinks it has a tool that it has to drop off. Now we'll pick up the surfacing tool. Because that is our first operation. Slight delay while there's an air vac operation going on. Just to release any excess pressure in the spindle. Coming over should go down to 25 mil and stop. So I can check, safely check the Z height. Let's have a look at that. And there's my Z safety height check with my 123 block. All good to go. So, to start with the facing operation. Sorry about the compressor. Spacing is a bit boring, but uh, I usually do it at the start of every operation, or well, every part I'm making. Because I'm filming the tool change, the video is going to be a little longer than normal. up the 8mm two flute and coming back over to start the 2D adaptive pocketing tool rack sliding back I put an M1 stop just to double check the second tool as well. And all good, so away we go. Yes, it is a bit messy. messy hobby. <laughs> and that's it. That's it for the pocket. The end of the 2D adaptive. And 
and another tool change. Just dropping off the uh, eight millimeter two flute. And picking up the first of the drills. I'll edit this a little bit. So drilling operation with the pecking motion. I haven't shown any drilling before. Just trying to keep it interesting. And the end of the first drill. I'll drop off that drill and pick up a different size drill. Just because we can. Second drill coming over, tool rack sliding back. Picking with a retraction. And all done. Drill rack comes forward, we drop up the drill. You have a six mil, two flute end mil. Drill rack slides back. It's the 2D contour around the outside of the path. 